Uh, this is Mark Madison. It's March 4th, 2009, and I have with me Forrest McCarthy, who is uh, a mountain guide and a geographer. He just finished up a very interesting project in Arctic National Wildlife Refuge. He's come to NCTC to talk about it this evening, and he was kind enough this afternoon to put aside a little time to do a quick podcast here. So, Forrest, tell us a little about your background. Oh, thanks, Mark, for having me here. I'm really excited to be at NCTC. Um, yeah, I've kind of got a diverse background. I mean, it all kind of centered around, I guess, you know, exploration and adventuring in wild places in one way, form, or another. Um, I've been working as a mountain guide for nearly 20 years now. I work for Exxon Mountain Guides in Wyoming. Doing a lot. Of, most of my guiding has been on the Grand Teton and Wind Rivers, but I've been fortunate enough. I worked for a company, Alpine Ascents International, for a few years and got to guide in South America, in Aconcagua, and Vincent Massif in Antarctica, and they've been on 10 expeditions on Denali in Alaska, um, and also I've done some guiding for the U.S. Antarctic program, so I've gotten to spend a bunch of time down there as well. I um, also worked as wildlife biologist, um, studying wolverines for the Wildlife, wildlife Conservation Society, um, and uh, got my master's degrees in physical geography. That was actually what led me to my bachelor's were in outdoor education from Prescott College, but uh, doing a lot of the work I was doing in the Arctic and Antarctica got me interested in graduate work, and uh, so I studied physical geography at the University of Wyoming. Great. Tell us a little about what you're going to talk about tonight in your presentation. Um, so in 2006, I was very fortunate and got invited to join George Schaller with his 50th anniversary expedition to the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge. Um, George Schaller, when he was 23 years old, um, when he was a graduate student himself, a master's candidate of the University of Alaska Fairbanks, um, himself and Bryna Kessel and Bob Creer, and Bob Creer, who I was at the University of Wyoming at the time, um, joined Olas and Marty Murray to spend the summer in the Shinjak Valley of the Arctic Refuge. Um, and 50 years later, George returned to the Arctic Refuge. He hadn't been there, and then that was his first time back, believe it or not, and so it was very very exciting to get to be go back there with him. Um, and keeping in the spirit of the 56 as expedition, um, George Schaller and uh, the expedition organizer, Jonathan Waterman, invited three graduate students. And uh, I got chosen as one of those three graduate students. And, uh, and at the time, as I said, I was in graduate school and needed to come up with a thesis. And so I wanted to somehow integrate that trip into a uh, my thesis work in physical geography. And luckily at the University of Wyoming Geography Department there had been some expertise and former students that had done a lot of work on documenting landscape change through repeat photography. Mm -hmm. So that became kind of a real obvious way to do it and it had a real neat historical element because a lot of the photos I du duplicated were from the original 56 Murray expedition. and. Uh, and a lot of the uh, focus of the expedition was to look at how things like climate change and energy development are impacting Arctic Alaska. So I was able to um, really have incorporate that into my thesis as well. So Forrest, did you yeah. find evidence of global climate change in Arctic Refuge? I found impacts that, um, of the impacts of climate change in the Arctic and that are consistent with a lot of other research. I mean, I didn't personally collect any weather data or climate data. But according to a lot of other research, that the, rec the known warming in Arctic Alaska is driving the advancement of tree cover, shrub cover, um, the recession of glaciers, and all my photographs were consistent with, those, with that other research. Great. Well, besides scientific research, it was also a hell of an expedition, and you, you probably yeah. have a lot of stories. You were out there a while, yeah. you were with very interesting people, but would you, would you share one of your interesting adventure stories with us in Arctic? Um, certainly the highlight of it was at the end of the expedition. Well, part of it drove it up was when, when George Schaller was there in, back in 1956. He had left Olus and Marty Murray at Last Lake and said, hey, I'm going to go back and I just want to go up for a 10-day hike. I'll be, I'll be back. And he thought he'd be shorter. It would take him a shorter period of time, but he didn't want to worry Marty Murray. So um, he told her he'd be gone 10 days and some real basic simple supplies went out. And it was also, you know, keep in mind that that was the same summer the USGS was making the first good maps of the area. Right. And uh, he went out and 
did this about 200 mile trek um, through what is now the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge. And he took photographs. And uh, so part of my research is I wanted to go and duplicate photo those photographs, which gave me a good excuse to uh, convince Jonathan Waterman um, and, and to save the expedition some money. And, so, and one of our other graduate students, so instead of flying back to um, Arctic Village and Fairbanks from Last Lake, um, they got, the expedition bought us a seat on a mail flight from Kaktovik. And uh, myself and Martin Robarts, one of the other graduate students, traversed the Brooks Range and got to follow George's footsteps up to the very head of the Sheenjack Valley and the Sheenjack Glacier. That's great. Yeah. Well, Forrest, thanks for your time. We're really looking forward to your presentation tonight. Mm -hmm. And thanks again for coming out to NCTC this spring. We're looking forward to it. Is it already spring? <laughs> it doesn't feel March. like it in D.C. No, no, it doesn't feel like it. Strange uh, as that. It felt like snow spring on the when ground. I left Wyoming, but this, it was colder in D.C. End, of, end of winter, I guess. So yeah. thanks again for us. Right. Appreciate it. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks for having me. I'm sure me. it's a little warmer than Arctic. <laughs>